how to express different ideas in one sentence, and how to connect sentences in our writing. Don't you know? We can use complex and compound sentences. Assalamualaikum, I'm Fikri. In this video, I will try to give a simple explanation about complex and compound sentences. These are the contents of my videos. We'll start with introduction up until conclusion. So without further ado, let's get started. First, what are complex and compound sentences? A complex sentence consists of an independent clause plus subordinating conjunction plus at least one dependent clause. I assume that everyone watching is already aware about the types of clauses and the types of conjunction. So I will not get into that in this video. Let's have a look at an example. I ate lunch early because I was hungry. Let's break it down. I ate lunch early is an independent clause because it's a conjunction. Because I was hungry is a dependent clause. Do you know we can rewrite it in another way? We can do it like this. Because I was hungry, I ate lunch early. Now, to compound sentence. Compound sentence consists of at least two independent clauses jumped together by a coordinating conjunction. For example, I love to read books and watch movies. This sentence actually consists of two independent clauses. The first one, I love to read books. The second, I love to watch movies. When we combine them together, it will become like this. I love to read books and watch movies. So, why do we need to learn about complex and compound sentence? By learning complex and compound sentence, we can express more ideas and we can help show relationships uh, between our ideas. We can add more information and it will make uh, our writing more interesting. Before we start making our own sentences, let's have a look at an important rule. This is the most important rule you have to remember. A complex sentence consists of an independent clause, conjunction, and a dependent clause. This is our uh, previous example. I will give you another example. If a conjunction, if you study hard, uh, an independent clause, you will excel in this course, an independent clause. For compound sentence, the rules is independent clause plus conjunction plus independent clause. Easy to remember, right? So, this is our first example. This is our second example. They study hard, but failed the exam. I try to avoid some common mistakes when making a complex and common sentence. The first common mistake is the placement of commas. Uh, in general, commas are placed after the uh, dependent clause. Another mistake is conjunctions. So how do we uh, how do we try to avoid avoid these mistakes? First, we identify the clauses and then we use proper conjunction to show the proper or the intended relationship of the ideas. Now, let's move on to the examples. For complex sentence, uh, in this table you can see there are three rows. First rows are the conjunctions, then sentences, then uh, the, relationship, the relationships of the ideas in the sentences. First, after I took my kids to the park after they finished their homework. The relationship shown here is time. Then, although, although the weather was hot, they ran around happily. It shows the contrast. I asked my kids to go home as it was getting late. Cause and effect. Because of work, he cancelled his plan. Also, cause and effect. If you have if, if you behave, you can have the candy. It shows a condition. She behaved so that she can have the candy. It indicates a purpose. Finally, I am taller than my brothers. It shows comparison. 
Now to compound sentences. I love reading, for it broadens my knowledge. Reason. She skillfully plays the guitar and sings the song beautifully. It shows an additional idea to the first idea. Nor. He did, he, he did not come to class, nor did he apologize. It shows a negative alternative. He was sick, but still went to work. Contrast. You can have the candy, or you can choose the ice cream. Alternative choices. I love poems, yet I never write one. It shows contrast. And finally, I was hungry, so I ate an apple. It shows cause and effect. I want to share with you some uh, fun facts. Did you know that the most common subordinating conjunction is that? And the most common coordinating conjunction is and. And the longest sentence in English literature is 4,390 words. Sentence, not a text, uh, not an essay. I, 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 can, I struggle to write uh, an essay 2,000 words long let alone a sentence. I have some exercise for you. I have 10 uh, sentences here. The instruction is uh, trying to identify which of the sentences is a complex of compound sentences. Uh, let me show you how it's done. Number four, although it is scorching hot, he still jumps. Here's some tips. You identify the type of process first, although there is a conjunction. Although it is coaching hot, it is a dependent clause. He still jobs. That is dependent clause. So, independent clause, sorry, uh, dependent clause plus with independent clause is a complex sentence. Now to number five. They went to the forest and they enjoy the scenery. scenery. Uh, the conjunction used here is and that shows an uh, additional idea. So by that alone, we can determine that this sentence is actually a compound sentence. Okay, you can try to do the remaining exercise. I include an answer sheet in the description box. Now, we are at the end of our video. So for conclusion, Learning complex and compound sentence can improve our writing skills. And also we can express more in our writing by using complex and compound sentence. But keep in mind, there are some rules to follow. And please try to avoid the common mistakes. So there we have it. Uh, my take on complex and compound sentences. Thank you for watching. I hope that everyone watching can learn something new today. So until next time. Bye.